Germany took in more than a million refugees in 2015. One of these refugees was an Afghan teenager named Mohammed Riyad. Two weeks ago, Riyad left the refugee center and was welcomed into the home of a German foster family. He responded to the kindness and generosity of the German people by boarding a train and shouting Allahu Akbar while hacking and slashing Germans with an axe and a knife. After fleeing the scene, he was surrounded by German police. He charged the police with his axe and they shot him dead. Police later searched the young man's room and discovered a homemade ISIS flag. ISIS later released a video of Riyadh pledging allegiance to the terrorist group and proclaiming that he was going to die in a suicide attack. Naturally, police and the media are reporting that the young jihadi's motive is unclear. They've tried desperately to uncover a motive, but there's something incredibly vague about a young man calling himself a soldier of ISIS and going on a hacking and slashing spree while shouting Allahu Akbar. Understanding the motives of a jihadi is as difficult as understanding the Quran. We open the Quran and read, Fight those who do not believe in Allah. Fight those of the unbelievers who are near to you and let them find in you hardness. Muhammad is the messenger of Allah and those who are with him are severe against disbelievers and merciful among themselves. Surely Allah has bought of the believers their persons and their property for this, that they shall have the garden. They fight in Allah's way, so they slay and are slain. What could these texts possibly mean? Who can know? Words, much like motives, are completely incomprehensible. Investigations into terrorist attacks in the West are based on one fundamental principle. If it walks like a jihadi and acts like a jihadi and shouts Allahu Akbar like a jihadi, it must be a disaffected youth haunted by joblessness who's only attacking people because his brain's been overheated by climate change. To all of you young ISIS fans in Germany who are plotting terrorist attacks because Muhammad declared, that your highest religious duty is jihad? Just keep in mind that no matter how clearly you state your intentions and goals, German leaders will not understand your message. Trying to explain fighting in the name of Allah to German leaders is like trying to explain the color red to a man born blind or a symphony to a man born deaf. If you're thinking to yourself, but these are the people who discovered quantum mechanics, surely they can understand fight those who do not believe in Allah, you're entirely wrong. History shows that even though the German people are brilliant in science and classical music, they are extremely easy to brainwash and manipulate whenever they're in the presence of a fascist ideology. If you're thinking, well, we'll just keep hacking up German people until their leaders hear our message, it won't work because German leaders don't care about German people. If they did, they wouldn't be defending an ideology that openly calls for the violent subjugation of their own people and the entire world again.